Hey guys, we will make a dish garden and we will use organic fertilizer which is the vermicast. Safety first, put some gloves. I collected my herbs and spices like basil, rosemary, chocolate and spearmint, oregano, and lemongrass. These plants can keep bugs, mosquitoes, flies, and many more. Next, I put the vermicast and mix it with the soil. Vermicast is from end product of earthworms by breaking down of organic matter. With this process of casting, it reduces levels of contaminants and a higher saturation of nutrients than the organic materials before vermicomposting. With dish garden, it maximizes the area in your household and minimizes the needed area of plants. It's also easy and very eco-friendly by using broken or damaged pot or basin. With this plant, they can also be used for cuisine to add flavor and aroma. I also use broken pots to repurpose and make it a design to the whole dish garden. It can also be moved and placed all around the household. This mini garden is also an easy access to get herbs and spices. Because of the power of each plant, they can get rid of any bugs and mosquitoes in the household. Basil can be used as a culinary herb. Some use it for stomach spas and loss of appetite. Eating the leaves can low blood sugar. It can be cooked and eat the leaves raw. Next, I planted the chocolate mint. It is generally a mint with a hint of chocolate flavor. Next is the spearmint. It is very aromatic and therapeutic when you smell it. I also put some corals to add design. With dish garden, you can be creative and innovative. At the same time, it helps to recycle things and make it to a new product and purpose. And some crushed eggs that will also provide nutrients for the plants. Gives calcium that helps prevent blossom and rot. At the same time, moderates soil acidity while providing nutrients for the plants. Dish Garden is a wonderful project to come up with new ideas and be creative. Children will love to do this kind of activities. They also provide veggies, spices, herbs, or fruits to your home. I also put some stones to separate each plant. You can also put any bling or design to your own dish garden. You can also choose any plant you want to put in your dish garden, as long as it can maximize the space of the basin or pot. Lastly, I water the dish garden. With my plants, they don't need much water and enough sunlight is required to avoid wilt and dying of plants. Luckily, the dish garden can be easily moved in any places. And this is the end product. Hope you love it! Happy planting everyone!